Hey everyone, it's Billy here from Daily Puzzles. In today's video, we're going to be comparing the Volk 3M with the Volk Power M with the Volk Elite M. We get a lot of questions asking which one should I buy and what are the differences. So in today's video, we're going to answer all that and more. Just before I get into the video, the Volk Elite is also currently on sale on our website. And on top of that, we recently slashed our international shipping rates by up to 65%. Make sure you check out our website, which is in the link in the video description. Starting with the unboxing experiences, we have the Volk 3M first, which comes in a sleek black box with a magnetic flap. You get some postcards, a cleaning cloth, and the cube itself. The Volk Power is very similar, another sleek black box with a magnetic flap. You also get some postcards, a cleaning cloth, but this time you get a sticker, and then the cube. With the Volk Elite, they've totally redesigned it. It now comes sealed in plastic, and when you open it, you'll see four different smaller boxes. Box A and B come with different center caps with a lighter and stronger magnetic center caps. Box C comes with different spring systems, which is also lighter and stronger. And D comes with replacement center logos, cleaning cloth, a big sticker, postcards, the cube, and a plastic display box. Overall, I think the Volk Elite wins for the unboxing experience, but I do like that magnetic flap. Now that we've gone over the unboxing experience, let's go into the turning out of the box, the specifications, and the customization options of all three cubes. Starting with the Volk 3M, it comes in at 37.50 Australian, weighs just 85 grams. Right out of the box, it does require a decent break in. I mean, it turns okay right out of the box, but it does improve over time. The corner cutting is decent, but it does feel quite forceful. And again, this does improve when you break it in more. Unfortunately, this cube has no customization options and comes with medium to strong magnets. So if you're not happy with that strength, unfortunately it cannot be changed, but it also is the cheapest out of the three puzzles. As for the Volk Power, it comes in at $52 Australian and weighs 95 grams. You definitely notice the heavier weight when using it. It does feel a little bit more tiresome over time to hold it, and it does require a little bit more effort to turn. Out of the box, the turning is okay, but it also requires quite a bit of break-in, and in my opinion, it doesn't perform quite as well over time compared to the Volk 3. Uh, the corner cutting isn't great again, it feels very forceful, and this does improve a little bit over time, but not as much as I'd like, and the magnets are also medium to strong, and unfortunately again, no customization options whatsoever, so if you're not happy with the magnetic strength or the elasticity, you can't change that, at least with uh, what comes with the item itself. As for the Volk Elite, it is the most expensive out of the bunch. It comes in normally at $72 Australian, although at the time of filming this video, it's $67.50 Australian, and you can also bring this down another 10% with the discount code YouTube at checkout. It weighs 75 grams and noticeably is the lightest out of the bunch. That 10 gram difference between the Volk 3 makes a big difference and it definitely feels very light out of the box and also has the best turning and best corner cutting straight away. You definitely notice that this feels like a modern cube straight away. It's really a pleasure to turn. And on top of that, you can customize it, it significantly. You get magnet and spring options of light, medium, and strong. Right out of the box, it comes with medium, which is great for most people, I'd say, but you also have that option to change, and it's considerably easier to do both. To swap the magnet strength, you just swap out the center caps, and for the spring settings, to change the elasticity, you just swap out to whatever nuts you prefer. Green being light, clear being medium, and red being strong. Overall, the Volk 3 wins here for the price, the Volk Elite wins here for the weight, and overall, if you're not considering either of them, I'd say the Volk Elite wins right out of the bat again because of the customization options that it does have. In conclusion, what cube should you buy? Starting with the Volk 3, this is a really great cube. It's been around for a long time, and now there's a factory magnetized version available that makes it even better since you don't have to do it yourself. It's broken many records and been used by thousands and thousands of cubers around the world, and is a very widely respected cube, and will be a great choice for a cuber of any skill level, and the price is also the best. The only downside again is there is no customization. So I definitely recommend trying it at a competition if you can first, but if not, I think you'll still be very happy with it. In the perspective of these two other cubes, I do think the Volk Power is the weakest of the bunch. It's a little bit more expensive than the Volk 3, and the weight of it just really puts me off. And over time, it doesn't perform as good as I'd like in comparison to the Elite and the 3M. So personally, I would give it a miss. If you're interested in trying a puzzle that's similar to this, I would say the Thunderclap version 3 is a better choice to this, and it comes in at just $16.50 Australian, which is significantly cheaper. 
As for the Volk Elite, this hands down would be my favourite pick for the best Volk out of these three options. It does come in a little bit more expensive at $72 odd Australian, but again, it's on sale right now and you can also get additional discount with discount codes, which helps with the price a little bit. On top of that, you are getting a lot more for your money. It's a more modern design, it's lighter, which I think makes it a lot more enjoyable to use, has the best turning out of the box, and you can customize it to almost any feeling that you'd like. You get light magnets, medium and strong. Same with springs, light, medium, strong. It comes with medium out of the box, which I think is great, but if you want a little bit lighter options or stronger options, they are there to facilitate that feeling. Thanks for watching our video comparing Volks 3x3 puzzles everyone, we really hope you enjoyed it. We put a lot of time into making it and we're very pleased with how it came out and we hope you are too. We really encourage you all to subscribe because we have so many videos coming in future and if you like this video you'll definitely like what we have coming. On top of that we've got a giveaway running right now, make sure you enter that. We've got another one coming for 9,000 which we just hit, that will be announced soon. We have another giveaway coming at 10,000 and there will also be plenty more in future. On top of that when the factories get back from the Chinese New Year holiday we have many many prototypes that are going to be on the way to us and you guys are going to see the information first on our YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe and ready for that because you do not want to miss it. Thanks again guys, we'll see you in the next video.